Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Stan and in this one, we're gonna be taking a look at something that I didn't realize Manfrotto made. This is a card reader, a CF Express card reader and a CF Express card uh, from Manfrotto. And they were nice enough to send a sample over for me to take a look and we'll take a look at the benchmarks and see if it works with the Canon R5C I am shooting on right now. So. Let's get into it. Now, I actually don't know if Manfrotto actually manufactures this product or if uh, they just relabeled it and it's actually a third party manufacturer, but uh, they seem to be getting behind their product and stamping their name all over it. So, uh, you know, I expected quality or good things out of this product. So this is a USB 3.2, a 10 gigabit per second card reader, and it's both compatible with Mac and PC. And it is designed for the CF Express Type B cards. Uh, I don't have any XQD cards to test with, but uh, I would imagine the XQD cards would work as well. Don't quote me on that though. Now, USB 3.2, 10 gigabit per second. Uh, if this card reader can properly satisfy that link or saturate that link, it should be pretty fast. And if you're actually looking for something a little bit faster, then you'll probably have to step up to a Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 card reader. But then that barrier to entry or the price, you know, price differential between USB and Thunderbolt is gonna be you know, another step up. So. USB 3.2, 10 gigabit per second is about right. Now the card reader itself is a fairly well built card reader. It's made out of aluminum and you can you know, tell that it's a good bit of heft to it, but on the top end or on the end of this, you see here, this is plastic and this plastic feels pretty cheap in the hands. The card reader itself is good, but just the door and the red bit is, is very, very flimsy. And in fact, if I just bend this the wrong way, I'm pretty sure I can snap this thing off. That said, that doesn't really hinder the performance of the card reader, so I'm not gonna judge it that hard, but you know, overall, it's, it's, it's all right for the build. The cable that comes with the card reader, I wanna say this is a, about a three foot cable. It's a relatively thick cable as well, and on the, label here it says it is a super high speed usb revision 3.1 now i don't know if that means it's a usb 3.1 cable or 3.2 cable 3.1 gen 2 3.2 gen 2 as long as it hits 10 gigabits per second it doesn't really matter moving on to the memory card they sent over this is a 128 gigabyte uh, cf express type b memory card this memory card is made in Taiwan. It's very similar to all the other memory, CF Express memory cards. In fact, they probably came from the same factory. Uh, it's similar to the pro grade one I've got. Um, and like I said, every other memory card I've got. So we'll take a look at the speed performance of this memory card, of the card reader, and we'll actually Oh, well, I'll test these independently as well, just to see what the maximum capability is. Firing up AJA system test light here. Uh, this is just the card reader or a card speed tester. Uh, we're using a 4K 2160 file, 16 gigabytes. The codec I'm using is a 10 bit RGB. Uh, believe it or not, the codec actually makes a difference in the speed of the transfer. So 10-bit RGB is generally on the faster side here and a continuous read and write loop. So with the Manfrotto CF Express card reader and the 128 gigabyte card here, what you'll see is the write is right around 735 megabytes per second the read is hovering right around the 900 megabytes per second. This is decently good for the advertised speeds because if you remember 10 gigabits per second, uh, effectively you're probably gonna see a maximum of about a gigabyte per second. 900 megabytes per second uh, is 
is, is about right. And if I'm achieving these kind of speeds, I'm pretty satisfied with the performance. Now throwing in another card just to make sure that I'm not card limited on this uh, card reader here, I threw in the ProGrade Cobalt card and this card is rated for 1500 megabytes per second write, 1700 megabytes per second read. So it's an extremely fast card. And indeed, I got very similar performance out of that card here. You're looking at about 750 megabytes per second write with again, 900 or so megabytes per second read. So clearly this is the top end capability of this card reader something that you know you can probably expect if you were to pick this up. The last test I'm gonna do is a test to show you guys what the cards are capable of doing if you were to upgrade to something even faster, something like a Thunderbolt 3 card reader, which I do have. I do have a pro-grade Thunderbolt uh, 3 card reader. If I throw in the Manfrotto card, the 128 card here into that card reader, the performance on that is actually very good. Uh, I'm surprisingly good actually. So it's a thousand megabytes per second write with 1500 megabytes per second read. Uh, this is just about the same amount of performance as I got on the Cobalt uh, ProGrade card. Again, that card is rated for speed. There isn't much of a speed rating on the Manfrotto card and it's a significantly smaller card, the 128 versus the 325. Generally, as you move up in capacity, you get a faster card. So it's very nice to see that this performance of this card is matching the larger capacity of a you know, high speed card. So I guess if you need a very fast read and write card that is actually faster than what the card reader is capable of here, uh, this Manfrotto 128 card, gigabyte card, and I would imagine the 256 version as well is a very high performing card. And you know, I would definitely take a look at if this fits in your price budget, price range of what you're looking for. And by the way, I did test the, this card in my R5C. It worked flawlessly as you would expect from a CF Express card. Um, you know, nothing more to say there. This is definitely a capable card and card reader combo that I would definitely recommend cross shopping if you're in the market to pick up something like this. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below. I do read every comment. And if this use, it was useful for you guys, make sure to hit that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one.